Hey guys, it's Sam here. I'm a technical product specialist here at Zsphere, the cloud solutions provider for MSPs. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Ninja RMM how-to videos. It's the second in the series and we're going to be covering security. So we're going to take a look at how to set up your WebRoot integration, how to turn on WebRoot in policy, how to access the GSM console and give admin privileges, how to action threats direct from Ninja RMM, and also the Microsoft Security Center integration. So guys, we're in the dashboard. This is the first view that you see when you log onto your Ninja console. So we're gonna go direct and access the configuration tab on the left here and click on integrations and web route. Okay, so when you click setup, you get a couple of options. If you already have a web route account, you can integrate it. If you don't have a WebRoot account, you can set that up. I'm going to show you how to integrate an existing WebRoot account. So we add the GSM key and then you add your confirmation email. Now I should receive an email um, which will tell me um, if it's been successful on setting up the Ninja integration. So you can see here, guys, we should have a message on the screen. It says WebRoot has sent you an email asking you to accept the creation of the Ninja API user. So I've just received that email. I'm going to click on the link now, which will take us to WebRoot. So I'm going to go ahead and log in on the WebRoot console. help if I got my email right guys okay so that's been completed we're going to click continue so here's where the magic work, guys. So Ninja and WebRoot are now merging. Um, and as you can see, congratulations, WebRoot integration is enabled. Awesome. OK, so what we do now is we go into policies. We select our policy. I'm going to choose my Windows workstation uh, policy as default. And now you can see here, guys, we've got the antivirus section, and I've now got WebRoot. So all I need to do to enable my WebRoot is click on choose your antivirus, choose WebRoot, and you can see this nice message on screen. Are you sure you want to install WebRoot antivirus on all devices in this policy? Yes, I do. So that's literally it for um, integrating your WebRoot and turning it on within the Ninja RMM console. It's kind of awesome. It takes a couple of minutes. You know, it's really good. So if we now click on WebRoot, uh, we should see that we've got the GSM key enabled. Awesome, right? So I need to go into my GSM console, which I've done. If I click on admins, make sure I'm in the admins tab here. And then I click on my user. Oh, I need to log in again, guys. Bear with me. Okay, so when we log in and select our console name, select admins, select my user. Okay, what we need to do now is we need to do site privileges. Um, there we go, so site permissions. And as you can see here, guys, we've got quite a lot of um, different things on here. So test company, um let's have a look through so i basically need to make sure that i give myself admin access to all of my sites so i'm going to go ahead and click save and that's pretty much it from the webroot gsm console so now we're going to have a look at how threats are um how they look within the ninja rmm console 
So we're going to take a look in here. So let's have a look at my one device in here. So we can see that we've got Webroot on this machine here. Um, and if we look at the top, now we've got some added options. So these weren't available to us before now. So we can do things like a full scan or a cleanup. I'm going to go ahead and access a full scan. So this is just one of the really smart features within the Webroot integration within Ninja RMM. So that while that scan is triggering, I'm just going to go back and show you um, where you will see your threats. So as we all know, on the dashboard, you've got the nice little um, traffic light system. So you've got the red, amber and the green. And then here, obviously, we've got the keys. So we've got things like if a server's gone down, if you've got a web root threat. So if we have a web root threat, this little key here will show roughly where this little active jobs um, icon is right now. So you'll see that and it will either be red or it will be amber. If it's red, it's because it's a really bad threat. You need to deal with it and it's active or live. If it's amber, it's generally because it's not so big a threat or you need to quarantine it or you have quarantined it. So until the action has been resolved, you will have the little bug on your um, Ninja RMM. So it really works quite well, guys. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the Security Center integration from Microsoft. Now, this is an awesome little feature. So if we go to reports and we check out the regular report, um, so you know that the different types of reports show different features. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the antivirus section on the regular report. I think this is really awesome, to be honest, guys because it gives you a full protection status within the reporting feature. So you can see here, we've got five devices that are all protected by solution. So it's not um, picked it up on here yet because we're still trying to set up the Webroot integration. So it'll now be pushing Webroot out to all of my devices, but I can show you the Microsoft Security Center integration. So even though I've now in the process of putting Webroot on here, I've not got anything else on here other than um, Windows Defender. Oh, there we go, guys. We can see that Webroot Secure Anywhere is actually on device one. So that's awesome. So you can see that we've got Webroot Secure Anywhere, we've got Windows Defender Antivirus, and we've got Windows Defender. Now, Microsoft Security Center um, is an awesome package. So there are about 40 to 50 different antivirus solutions that are picked up within the Microsoft Security Center. If any of your customers at all across your entire estate have any of those, so from ESET to Sophos to McAfee to AVG, they'll be picked up within the Ninja um, reporting feature right here. So you'll be able to see them, what their product state is, what the definition state is, and the last check-in. Now, I think that's a really awesome feature. So even though they aren't integrated, you can still check up on them and make sure that your customer's devices are safe. And kind of when the last check-in was, if it's up to date, I think that's a really, really good feature. So I just like to put that out there and tell MSPs that that's available because not all of your customers will have the same antivirus. Not all of them will want to have the same antivirus, but they will have some kind of antivirus. We hope, right? So um, yeah, that's the uh, Microsoft Security Center integration. So guys, you've watched the video. Here are my contact details. You might have questions. You might have questions on Webroot, on Ninja RMM, or any of our other products feel free to get in touch via phone or email. Now here's the really good bit. So as MSPs, if you sign up to our Zsphere MSP partner program, you can start reaping benefits straight away. So you can get discount on top of your additional discount from being an MSP. You can get extended trial product licenses. Um, you can get free licenses. You get invites to things like VIP events, and you also get a subscription to Z Magazine, which is an awesome magazine just aimed and focus for MSPs, so you get some hints and tips in there. It takes 20 seconds to sign up, so please do check that out at zsphere.com. Start reaping the benefits straight away. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. So that was the video, the second in the series on the Ninja RMM how-to videos for security. See you soon.